go down, you come up, turn. Okay, but very heavy. It's a workout. It's Visak Day and 7,000 people are coming to feast. And I've been recruited to help the chefs in the kitchen. But it's going to take more than experience to get through the day. I'm so bad! I'm sweating. It's getting into my eyes. I can't see properly. I'm Derek Chung. You might remember me as the winner of MasterChef Singapore. That was the first time I stepped out of my comfort zone. And now, I'm doing it again. Derek, come, come. You do the right. In this series, I'll be exploring the business of big batch cooking. From festivals, to soup kitchens, what does it take to feed thousands with quality food on time and within budget? I'm on my way to the Singapore Buddhist Lodge, one of the oldest charities in Singapore. Its dining hall serves free vegetarian meals every day for breakfast, lunch and dinner. On the lunch menu today is laksa, Thai tofu and braised chicken cubes. Hello, can I sit here? Oh, of course. This is my first time here. Oh, okay. So, how do you like it so far? I haven't tried the food yet, but okay. I'm going to get into it soon. Oh, okay. I find myself sitting next to Catherine Wong, one of the long-time employees of the lodge. Although she isn't vegetarian, she eats her meals here every day. Well, the laksa is really very good. Mm. It's very unlike any other vegetarian food that I have outside. Yes. And you know, it still has that rich lemak flavour yes. of the coconut cream. I really enjoy it. And it's really hard to believe that this is vegetarian. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. We have a big improvement over the years. It was used to be a very standardized uh, meal every day. We just get one curry and then with veggies and then fried beef. Food. But now, every week we have different dishes. We have a head chef. His name is Kevin. And he comes with a menu. And every week we get a specialty. Maybe laksa, Thai style, tofu. Kevin is very innovative. What is your favourite dish? One of them is the tecacho. I really like the vinegar, the way he does it. The Singapore Buddhist Lodge is one of the most prominent Chinese Mahayana Buddhist temple in Singapore. In the 1980s, it started a free kitchen in order to distribute food to the needy. Giving food in the spirit of Buddhism can be a very important day-to-day -day practice in a way to contribute to the community and help others in need. The man responsible for feeding 700 people daily for free is Chef Kelvin. He joined the kitchen 10 years ago but was promoted to head chef only two years ago. Our Hello, hello, nice to meet you. I'm Derek. Derek, hey, hello, hello. So, I'm going to eat the lunch here. I'm going to eat the laksa. I think it's very nice. Because I haven't seen the laksa before. Have you made a lot of changes here? Yes. Basically, the idea of the people's thoughts is very boring. Yes. 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 Why can't we 
自由发挥啦。其实我在一个小时就赶着想要离开了。<笑>我曾经有煮过很难吃的菜色给大众们吃，大家都批评说很难吃。Not only did Chef Kelvin not know how to cook, he's also not a vegetarian and was unfamiliar with the fare. 我也是有去。图书馆借书学，有时候我可以学到一点多，啊、呃，凌晨才睡觉，然后我就会在想说，为什么呃有些荤的它可以煮到这么好吃，而素的却没有办法。所以从那个时候起，我就一直在研究一些酱料方面的啦，来代替这些素食咯。这里的食物其实是免费的，为什么你会说要花这么多心思去把那个菜单给改了呢？我们身为一个厨师，我们所重要的就是说，我们看人家吃的那个表情，如果那个表情很不好看的话，那剩下来的东西太多的话，你会觉得很难受。尤其是那时来的都是上了年纪的老年人啦、啊。会比较没有钱的那些信众啊，他们来吃的目的就是说，我们可以不可以给他们吃一些比较有味道的食物 ？Today, Chef Kelvin serves eight dishes daily. A revamped menu has brought not only the needy but also the working class. 现在有几个员工？六位。那以前呢？以前的话大概是四位。现在有六位厨师。对。但是你这里的菜增加了三水。六个厨师的好处就是，他们可以分担不同的地方，煮出不同的东西出来。就比如说现在一个厨师他是管汤的，他今天必须把他的汤给做好。而你看那边，其实每天我们都会把我们厨师的名字给放上来，所以你会知道说今天是哪个厨师煮汤啊、煮饭啊、炒菜啊，好不好啊？他们都知道是哪个厨师。所以这是其中的一个好处。I want to learn how Chef Kelvin cooks his innovative vegetarian food for 700 people every day. 明天你早上七点你来吧，然后帮我们准备一下，看一下我们如何准备我们的午餐。好吧，好，我们明天见。好，谢谢你。好，再见，再见。好，现在你已经没有力了啊。<laughs> Having tasted some of Chef Kelvin's delicious vegetarian dishes, I return the next day at seven a.m. To see how he prepares lunch for 300 people. Hello, good morning, Chef Kelvin. Hey, Derek. Hello, nice <laughs> to see you. Again. Nice to see you. Then we have two to three hours to prepare our lunch. Okay. 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 Three chefs are roasted to cook eight dishes. Okay. 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 然后我们的主角啊，冬瓜，然后把它盖下来。Okay. For a start, the soup and dessert are set to cook unattended. The chefs then turn their attention to cooking the other six dishes. I'm assigned to prepare one of them. Okay. 烤箱，我们现在炒红烧鸡丁。Braised chicken cubes are mock vegetarian chicken meat made from soy protein. 蚝油，蚝油，尝一勺，香菇精，这是什么？蘑菇，蘑菇。好，现在你已经没有力了啊、哦！嗯，你要用这个。I never use such a long uh spatula before, so、uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Now Chef Kelvin has added a lot of uh, ingredients inside. This is getting really heavy, so let's try. <laughs> Chef, okay, ma. 
不 OK， 好重大的，你主要是用后面。OK， 可是姿势不好看、啊。不可以啊，你来了。只要你要这样炒，它才会均匀。嗯，然后往下面刮，刮，因为不然它会臭啊、呃、烧焦。哇！我一大清早来帮你煮这些菜，我已经有一点觉得稍微一点累了。我都不懂你怎么能撑得住，每天都这样啊、哦？因为只要你想到说，只要我们的这些听众们吃得很高兴。然后他们可以把我们的食物都给吃完，我们就觉得很满足。那个满足感会超越过你的那个累的感觉。你为啥觉得可以再来经验一下啊？我们的人数估计大概六千多到七千人。六千多到七千。对，这是差不多二十倍哦。OK， 好，这是李伟。哎，菜单我们已经在这边。哇。一二三四五六七八九十十一十二十三十四十四道菜，对，十四道菜，没赚钱，可以吗？可以可以，我们这很这样不紧张这样啊，不会。This will be the first time the Singapore Buddhist Lodge will be celebrating the occasion on a full scale since the COVID restrictions were lifted. So the kitchen is expecting as many as 7,000 people to show up. This is a very important festival for Buddhists around the world. They come together to celebrate the birth, enlightenment and Paridivada of the Buddha. In 1955, Visa became a public holiday in Singapore. Today, Buddhists in Singapore celebrate Visa as a way to commemorate the Buddha's teachings, but also as a way to practice compassion and charity. Wow, Li Wei, you've got a lot of food. The kitchen had to buy about 10 times more than their usual daily quantity from the Pase Panjang market. This chicken is 80 kg. It's 80 kg. It's 100 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 kg. More than 500 kilograms of vegetables have arrived at the Singapore Buddhist Lodge in preparation for V Day. Over three days, 12 volunteers and I managed to cut the vegetables in time for the special day. But cutting vegetables is not the only prep work that needs to be done. On special occasions like V Day, Chef Kelvin cooks one of his special dishes, pig's trotter vinegar. 为什么要准备这么早吗？因为当天我们将会有不够锅，所以呢，我们将会提早煮。先把这个姜也爆香。好，要金黄色吗？这个？对，它要炒久一点，它的味道才会很香。嗯。好。In this vegetarian version, tofu and black fungus rolls are substituted for actual pig trotter. But without the collagen from the pig's trotter, there's no way we can achieve the gelatin-like texture distinctive to this dish. Okay. Or is there? So we will add this yew tang. Wow! So you have to mix it first. It has that yew smell. Ah! So palm sugar is the secret. 
the palm sugar thickens the braising liquid. Hmm. It has that sweet feeling. Yes. But it has that sweet smell. Yes. 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 It has that sweet smell. This makes it an ideal dish to be chilled overnight to allow the flavours to melt together. And one less dish we have to cook tomorrow. Singapore Buddhist Lodge. I'm starting the day early. Breakfast will be served at 7am, followed by lunch at 11am and dinner at 5pm. It's all hands on deck. Chef Kelvin has recalled all six of his chefs. Okay, let's gather, right? Today, Ah Wei will take care of Ah Hong. You will take care of the curry part. Li Wei and Han, you will take care of the rice part. And the chicken part. Ah Chun, he will take care of the rice part. We 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 will take care of the kitchen plans to serve different dishes at different times of the day. Our first priority is to get the curry vegetables and bihun ready for breakfast at 7 a.m. I have been tasked to cook two pots of curry. Cabbage, eggplant, okay, beans. You go down, you come up, turn. Okay, but very heavy. It's a workout. This is a 100 over kg pot. So, I hope it's enough to feed the many people that we're going to serve later. I managed to get the curry ready in time. But there's no time for rest yet. Morning prayers for Visak Day will soon be over. And that's when the crowd will peak. Chef Kelvin has planned for some of the crowd favourites like tofu in broth, rojak and herbal chicken to hit the serving stations for lunch. Next, I've been assigned to fill the food warmers with trays of food. I'm sweating. It's getting into my eyes. I can't see properly. 炒完一个包菜，十点半左右我们坐罗家。罗家啊啊，好。加油加油，这个可以。很重哎，重啊，这还好。其实你的手拿错了，你应该这样拿。好嘞，这样。哦，是，一定。More than 6,000 people have already turned up for lunch. Okay. 
上做完了，现在不够要再煮了。啊。Just as we finish prepping more vegetables for a new pot of curry, suddenly there's a surge of people coming in and they needed to make the porridge ASAP. So we were being tasked to cut the tau kwa. I mean, I was just in the zone, just just cutting all the tau kwa to make sure that I'm able to get it ready so that the chefs can cook the porridge in time. This side can you put it? 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 By 2 p.m., the crowd starts to die down. But the kitchen continues to cook, anticipating a much smaller crowd for dinner. Okay, Chef Kelvin. Yes. Now it's about 5 o'clock. Okay. Now we have a few people who will come. We have a few people who will come. We have enough food to eat. Yes, it's enough. As dinner is served, the kitchen begins cleaning up. I think this experience today it was an eye-opener. At one point, it seemed like there was an endless stream of diners and the work was never-ending. Despite the grueling hours, I've really enjoyed the camaraderie with the chefs and volunteers. And to top it off, I picked up some creative insights on how to innovate vegetarian food. Mm. Wow.